<laughs> Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. When people share their testimony or their conversion story, it's usually three parts. It's here's my life before I had this moment of encounter. Here's my life before this encounter. Here's the encounter itself, and here's how my life has changed since then. And so, you know, sometimes if you grew up in church, you might have heard these testimonies of, you know, people coming in at, to your youth group or, or to your church, and they were like, yeah, you know, so they're really dramatic. And they're like, you know, I was an atheist. I, I hated God. I hated the world. Maybe I have all these, you know, a history of drugs and da 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 da, all these bad things. And then, powerful moment of encounter with Jesus. And now here I am, and I travel the world and tell people about Jesus, you know, including you, junior high kids, in that kind of situation. And so sometimes when we hear those testimonies, when we hear those stories, we look at ourselves and say, "Oh, I guess I don't have a story. I guess I guess I don't have a testimony because why? Because I guess I was never lying in a curb, and then Jesus appeared to me." Um, some people's testimony is, um, I was raised Catholic and it worked. <laughs> sometimes that's, I mean, you got to put some details into that, but sometimes that's the testimony. And actually, that's not a bad testimony. In fact, I heard someone talk the other day about how that, that testimony that I was raised Catholic by my, by my family and my grandparents and my parents, my, my siblings, they created a culture where Jesus was preached, he was shared with us, where, where grace was a part of our family life, not just part of church life. That, and then at one point, I embraced that. And here's how my life has been changed since then. To be able to give that testimony, give so much honor to your family. If that's, if that's your story, that might be your story. Your story of just, yeah, I was raised Catholic and it worked, is thank you, mom and dad. Thank you to those, my grandparents or whoever it was else who brought them to the faith. Thank you to my parish that, that, that helped me actually say yes to, to, to the Lord. So the amount of brokenness a person has taken from and brought into this life of grace, that's not what makes a good testimony. What makes a good testimony is who is the star of it? Who is the star of your testimony? Here's my life before I met Jesus. Here is my encounter with Jesus. And here's how my life has changed after Jesus. So sometimes when people give their testimony, they just kind of talk about, here's the details of my life. And that's, that's not bad. That's a start. But in that case, I'm the star still. In that case, the person telling the story is the star. What we want to highlight when we give testimony, when we bear witness to Jesus, what we want to do is actually bear witness to Jesus. The testimony is about how he has changed our lives. So I invite you to look at your own life and ask the question, okay, so where was that moment of encounter? Or was even that season of encounter, that, that time of encounter where my life changed because of Jesus? So for years, I, I didn't know. For years, my testimony was essentially I was raised Catholic and it worked. Um, I always threw in the stuff, you know, that about, well, I didn't really, I was raised Catholic. I didn't like going to mass. I didn't like church. I didn't like Catholic school, all those things. Um, and then I talked about how I went to confession one day and encountered the Lord and, and everything changed from then on. And now here I, and I started praying and started doing reading books and started whatever. I didn't realize that that was my moment of encounter. I just thought, well, this is the story of my life. I didn't realize how profoundly I was transformed until I read an encyclical letter by Pope Benedict the 16th. Not a lot of people read the Pope's encyclicals. We really should because some of them are really, really good. Pope Benedict the 16th wrote a encyclical called God is Love. And in the first page, like paragraph two, he says this, he says, being a Christian is not the result of an ethical choice or a lofty ideal. What he's saying is being a Christian is not the result of you want to be a good kid or because you have high standards. <laughs> he says, being a Christian is the result of an encounter with a person. It's an encounter with a person that gives one's life a new horizon and sets it in a decisive direction. Again, I read that and I thought, well, that's awesome. I'd love to have that encounter with a person. And I even, I even asked myself this question. Now, I might have already been a priest when the, I was a priest when this, when this came out. I'm like, have I had that encounter with the person? I'm like, man, I, you know, you want to live the fullness of the Christian life and you can't live the fullness of the Christian life unless you have an encounter with Christ himself. And I was thinking, where, where have I had this? And I realized this story that I was telling, the sharing of my true story of my life, the moment where I had this encounter with the person of Jesus in a way that transformed my life was in the sacrament of confession. I didn't realize that the God in his Holy Spirit had convicted me of my sin and went to confession. And it was there that I encountered Jesus Christ as a person who heals and forgives and who loves, especially when we're at our most broken. And I know this for many reasons, but one of the reasons I know this is because I remember stepping off that porch of that priest's house after I had gone to confession. And that's the very first time I ever thought, God, maybe I'll be a priest. I remember the thought was, God, if you want me to be a priest, I'll hear anyone's confession anytime they ask. But I'd never thought about being a priest and everything 
the whole vocation journey, I can trace back to that moment, that encounter. And I realized that was the encounter with Jesus that gave my life a new horizon and set it in a decisive direction. And Jesus is the one who did that. And so when we tell our story, it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be super dramatic. I was just a 15 year old kid who had an awareness of sin. And so I rode my bike to my priest's house and then to go to confession. And then I went to a normal confession. And in that normal confession, I met Jesus. And everything that's happened in my life has, it flows from that moment. Obviously, we know everything in my, that's happened in my life flows from my baptism. But, you know, this is a big moment for me where I was very aware. I wasn't aware of my baptism. It was a good day, but I wasn't cognitively there for it. For you, where did you encounter Jesus in a way that gave your life a new horizon and set it in a decisive direction? It doesn't have to be a single moment. It can be, sometimes it's a, it's a season you went through. And when you came out of that season, wow, there, there it was. There was the new horizon. There was the decisive direction. It could be um, really dramatic. It could also be very undramatic, very non-dramatic. It could be just very natural and very normal and very calm. It could be the kind of thing that you didn't realize it until you looked back on it and realized, oh my goodness, that was God. That was Jesus. And here you are now. So we are called to bear witness. Yes, but of course, by a converted life, by, by living the, the, what we're called to live, how we're called to live, living a life of integrity. But we're also called to bear witness by telling the story of the gospel. And in particular, at times, telling the story of how the gospel, Jesus Christ, has changed our lives. That's our testimony. And you have one. What is it? For all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.